Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome back to episode 22 of Direwolf20's Let's Play. I have recently just updated a couple mods. I got Buildcraft up to 2.2.11 and I upgraded Logistics Pipes up to 0.1.5. So, uh, just got a couple things going here. I'm gonna, uh, get started today doing a couple cool things. First off, I'm gonna grab my wireless remote here. I was just down in my basement and noticed that my, uh, lava is not showing up. So let's grab this guy and get rolling. So I'm going to grab my remote here, pulse 0, and pulse 1. And that should get me a portal back down to this little guy down here. Ooh. Now let's go find our pump and see what's happening. And I forget if I actually brought down with me... I do, I brought a water bucket. Good. So as you can see, my pump seems to have done a pretty good job of sucking up a bunch of lava here. At least a decent amount. Yeah, not bad. And hey look, is that diamond over there? I believe it is. Nice. So let's lay down some water. Yeah, not bad. Decent amount of lava left over there still. Just making sure I got all the lob out of this area, or at least most of it. Not bad. Now what was that about diamond? <laughs> I should probably make sure that there's no lob underneath this diamond before I go mining it. And if there is, this water will take care of me. So let's get our pump move, shall we? I'm thinking somewhere in this area might be a good spot. Okay, I got my pump, and all the other good stuff that I need. Now I do have some other ideas on what I might want to do with this pump, but uh, for now I think I'm just going to stick with this. Let's head on over here. And what I'm basically going to do is just kind of head over in this general direction, and try and build out a nice little spot to throw this pump down. some sapphire while I'm at it. Alright, looks good to me. Why not? So I'm just going to build out a little bridge here like I have been the last couple times you guys have seen me building this. Nothing too new or exciting. That actually might be where I want to put the pump right there. Can't wait till I get a vulcanite amulet then I don't have to worry too much about this lava situation. But for now, shift clicking and dragging, tiptoeing around here. Eh, it works. Okay. Just want to extend this platform a little bit more, and then we should be good. I wonder how many of you want to see me fall in lava right now. No such luck. At least not yet. Alright. Power frequency I think I had was 5, and lava frequency was 3. Switch that to true. And that to false, frequency 3, and let's head back to our base and see how everything turned out, shall we? And back down to our geothermal room. 
And like I said, I've got some ideas on how I want to uh, handle lava creation in the future, but for now this is working out well for me. So lava extraction, how do we do? We did well. Let's get some lava cell production, shall we? And there they go. And our empty cells are staying stocked, which is what we want. I'll wait for all these generators to turn on before lowering my volume. There we go, much better. Now, a couple people mentioned that this MFE here might be a problem in that it's outputting less energy than it's getting. It's getting 160 in, and it can only output 128. And you're correct about that. Um, but the only thing that's all right about it, see, 160 in, 128 out. It's not that big a deal because geothermal generators will stop processing the moment that they can't supply power to something. So if this guy did fill up, watch what would happen. They all turn off and all the lava gets stored. So it's not that big a deal. And I could upgrade this to an MFSU if I wanted to, but I don't feel like spending the diamonds at the moment. And look, we have 60 UU matter. I think it's time to make something. Woot. Let's head on upstairs. Okay, let's get building, shall we? I've got some tin. And some refined iron. Wait, those guys. Uh, refined goes to there. Yeah, it's like that. There we go. Mixed metal ingots. I got four of those. That's what I'm going to need. Um, I'm actually going to need a bit more than four. I need eight. So let me go grab a bit more of that ingredients there. I need six of you. You. Good. And I'll throw the iron in there to get some refined iron. We'll try that again. Perfect. So, singularity compressor, hooking me up with some advanced alloys. Exactly what I need. Now let's take our UU matter. And we want something like that. Iridium ore. This pattern here gets you your iridium ore, and I'm asking for eight of those. So I have a few UU matter left over. And then I need to place iridium ore in the four corners, and the advanced alloys like so. And lucky thing I found some diamond down there. That's going to get me my two iridium plates. Woohoo! Now that I have a couple of iridium plates, I also need to do a couple more things. I'm going to need some more iron. Where's my requester tool? So let's grab some iron. I'm going to need about 16 of them. I'm going to need some lapis as well. Roughly six. I'm also going to need some of you, too. And I need some glowstone dust. Two of them. And that should be everything I need. Do I have enough redstone? I don't have any redstone on me. Come on, I get some of that too. Redstone, redstone, redstone. There it is. I'm going to request 12. That should be more than enough. And hopefully I didn't forget anything, but you know me, I always do. So I need to upgrade a diamond. an energy crystal. And that guy needs to get upgraded using the lapis I grabbed to a lapitron crystal. I also need to cook up some of that iron ore that I requested. Which I know I requested iron ore. Didn't I? I just can't see it, but there it comes. Okay.
and I can cook that stuff up. Beautiful. Now I just need to turn these guys into some machine blocks and place them down like so. My Lapitron crystal goes in the middle of those, a couple of radium plates underneath, and one of the most expensive recipes is the quantum suit leggings. So I'm just going to throw those into my MFE here and let them charge up. And while they're charging, I think I should go make it daytime, because I'm going to suck up a significant amount of the EU in that MFE. In fact, I'll get all of it. Um, the quantum suit leggings, because they use a Lapitron crystal in the recipe, store one million energy units. So I don't quite have enough right in here to fully charge this guy. That's not that big a deal. Actually, I might need a MFE to charge them. Yeah, look at that. It's not even charging. So let's build ourselves an MFE, shall we? Let's go grab our... You know where I think I'm going to build my MFE as well? I'm going to build it downstairs. Let's head on down. And I can probably turn all these things off at the moment. I should have quite enough. Yeah, look how many lava cells I've got in there. Perfect. A ton of them. So I'm just going to knock the power off here for a moment. And I'm also going to switch off my mass fabricator so that it's no longer running. Well, actually, yeah, let me drain all this stuff I have in my MFE real quick. No sense wasting this energy, right? So mass fabricator will do its thing, and I'll add the UU matter that I had collected back into the chest. Looks like you need an MFE to charge these legs. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to grab my wrench. Very nice. And I'll be back in a minute once this is totally drained. Alright, good enough. Let's break this guy here. Thank you, MFE. Now I'm going to head back upstairs. And I'm going to get out my requesting tool once more. And I'm going to need, what do I got on me? One diamond? So I'm going to need five more. I'm also going to need a significant amount of lapis. Uh, I want to say 36 of those. I'm going to need 12 electronic circuits. Oh, I'm missing rubber. That's all right. I was just recently outside and collected a good amount of rubber. So let's go through that in my industrial craft chest. Quite an expensive recipe, this MFSU, huh? Now, where was I? Twelve of those guys, right? Thank you. And, oh boy, I'm going to need an advanced machine block. I might need even one more of these electronic circuits. Going to need two of you. Two of these guys. A good amount more redstone. Four tin. No, I need six, I believe. Yeah, six. And I might as well get ten tin and forty copper, because I need more bronze. And a good amount of iron. Let's say uh, forty should be good. Alright. Hey, look at me. My inventory is filling up a lot. That should be cool. I'm just going to store some of this junk I don't need right now in my inventory. That looks decent. Okay. Why don't I wait to get all the ingredients I need and I'll be right back. Alright, I think that's everything. So, first off, let's cook up some iron ingots to refined iron need a good amount of those. I'm also going to need to macerate my copper into copper dusts, because I need to make more uh, bronze. I'm also going to have to macerate my tin, that's alright. 
And while I'm waiting for that macerator, let's build some energy crystals. Nice. Pick these guys up. Macerate my tin. And then I can go like this. I actually grabbed more dust than I needed to for the copper, but oh well, I'll live. Throw that in there. I'll hang on to that dust for a few minutes. But for now, I'm just going to need a handful of the bronze. And we can compress our mixed metal ingots. And while waiting for that, I'll make myself a machine block. Also gonna need some coal. So why don't I clean up my inventory a little bit, grab some coal, and I'll be right back. Alright, macerating up some coal. And that'll allow me to get the uh, carbon plates that I need. Good enough. So let's see, upgrade my machine block. I might have grabbed a couple more advanced alloys than I need, but that's no problem. Got my MFE, gonna go ahead and upgrade this guy here. There we go, advanced circuit. And then I can upgrade these guys by just doing something like this. Where'd my lapis go, didn't I request some? each of these guys in turn. Perfect. We take our MFE, place an advanced machine block under it, an advanced circuit on top, and all our Lapatron crystals give us the MFSU. Uh, those of you new to industrial craft, this is the highest tier of energy storage available in industrial craft. It can store a whopping 10 million energy units, which is a ton. And if I go ahead and hook it up over here, we should be good. Now it outputs at 512 energy units per tick, which is a massive amount of energy. Um, very few machines can accept that amount of energy, so you have to make sure to reduce it using a medium voltage transformer. But our mass fabricator shouldn't have a problem with it. I'm gonna hook this guy up now and let him charge up some power. I'm also gonna turn off my mass fabricator right now. No problem. And I'm gonna let all this power that's getting stored in my geothermal generators fill up. And in a moment, I'm going to drop my quantum suit in there and let it absorb the power from the MFSU. So right now I'm using the geothermal power to charge my quantum suit. Produce a little bit more lava for me. That's good enough. And I'll be back in a minute once this guy is charged up a bit. And I'm going to say a half charge is good enough. So let's equip these guys. Ooh, how pretty. And all this energy getting dumped into my MSU. I'm going to let it stick around there. I'm not going to turn on my mass fabricator just yet. So let's go for a run, shall we? If we run outside here, and oh, look, it's dark out. Why don't I sleep through the night real quick? Now the quantum suit legs are awesome. Not only will they never get destroyed, um, they run off energy and they protect you with a good amount of armor. Uh, they also have a special ability. By default, you have to hit the double up arrow, but if you go into your config file like I do and modify that, um, you can turn off sprinting, running, I don't know what the setting is, but it's in there, you can't miss it. And uh, you can make it your control key. Look at that creeper just hanging out right next to you. He's, he's checking out my, uh, my tubing system. Dude, get away from there. Not cool. I do not want you blowing up that stuff. Anyway, holding control, and I'm running very fast. Not jumping terribly great yet, but running rather well. And I just ran over here, and we can see that we're running into an issue already. I never set up a system to automatically feed humus into my uh, arboretum there. So 
I need to uh, go ahead and clean up this little system. Uh, this is probably what I was going to work on in the next part of this episode anyway, was to get an automatic humus production going on. And I'm also going to need to, uh, you know, get some power into this guy. So let's first figure out how I want to do this. I'm thinking... I'm probably going to need a logistics pipe. So I'm going to go clean up my inventory here. Hooray, I can run fast. Can't jump too far yet, but that'll come in time. For now, let's get some piping going on and set up this hummus system. Now for those of you who don't remember from before, you get hummus by taking dirt and surrounding it a uh, piece of fertilizer. And you get fertilizer with two pieces of sand and an appetite. So I'm going to need two automatic crafting tables here. So let's clean up our inventory just a bit. Industrial craft goodies can go down here. I've got two philosopher's stones on me from before. And it took me all this part of this episode to figure that out. So I'm going to need eight wooden gears. There we go. Eight, please. And off will go the wood required to do that. That'll get me the automatic crafting tables I'm going to need. And I'll also need, uh, let's see, couple basic logistics pipe. I'm going to need the supplier pipe down the line. I'm going to need some item teleport pipes. That should be good. These will be crafting pipes, so I'm going to need some glowstone. Perfect amount. And let's get to building, shall we? I'm going to head on downstairs here. I wonder, just out of curiosity, how much juice this guy's built up already. Not a bad amount. And I'm probably just going to build these guys right here, like so. So let's get out our crafting table and take two basic pipes and convert them to crafting logistics pipes. And we can place them down probably somewhere along here and here. Nice. And then I can get some wood. Oh, I'm going to need more wood. Well, should be good for now. There we go. And upgrade those guys to the automatic crafting tables. And while I'm here, why don't I mention a new feature of logistics pipes that's available in 0.1.5. If I place down my automatic crafting table here, here, and let's get a requester going. I'm going to need some sand, two of you, and one of these appetites. And I'm also going to need one piece of fertilizer and eight pieces of dirt. Perfect. I can go ahead and open up this crafting table and tell it that two pieces of sand plus one piece of appetite equals eight fertilizer. Now as you guys are used to, I have to open up this crafting pipe and tell it as much. But look, there's an import button now. This is new in version 0.1.5. And if I click that, it automatically reads the automatic crafting table next to it and determines the inputs and the outputs. Sweet. So no longer do I have to manually open this guy up and give it the inputs and outputs. Um, this only works with automatic crafting tables at the moment, but hey, that's pretty neat. So let's place this guy down and tell him that you surround some dirt with some fertilizer and you get eight hummus. Humus. Whatever. Import. Dirt. Fertilizer. Humus. Sweet. Now back home. Let's uh, also set up our teleport pipes. I forgot about you, item teleport. And uh, maybe I'll just stick this guy right here. Why not? And I'm going to tell him frequency, let's go with 13. I don't think I've used that yet. There we go. Connected pipes, zero. 
And remember, both sides should be set to receiving crew. Now we can run back upstairs. And back out to our system. I'm also going to activate the energy. I had it disabled for a while. Frequency 4, back on. And by the time I get out there, it should cut down most of the trees. And there it goes. Chopping down trees like a champ. Did I bring any hummus with me? Of course I didn't. Why would I bring hummus with me? I think orange should get me back downstairs. Yeah, that'll work. Let's try requesting. Hummus. I'll request 16 of them. Why not? And that should grab some dirt and fertilizer. There it goes. And back up should come the humus. Ta-da! Here, we'll place down that item teleport pipe on frequency 13, was it? And receiving true. And I brought my supplier pipe with me. Place that guy here. And Arboretum will need at all times, let's say, Oh, by the way, I did find out that uh, shift clicking is supposed to work here, but there's currently a bug with NEI, and uh, it doesn't work if you have NEI installed, so Kraft is working on that at the moment, so don't worry about it. He's on the case. Uh, now, one other change in 0 0.1.5 is that, um, number one, it won't start requesting items until you close this interface. Previously, it would start requesting items while you're in the middle of telling it what to do. Um, now it won't request items until the interface is closed, which is a neat little change. It's also got this partial requests option. If you guys remember, um, the system would only fulfill a request if it had everything it needed. So let's say I had like, you know, enough ingredients to make 20 hummus here. It wouldn't bother doing anything. But if you turn on partial requests, it'll, um, you know, try and get the 64, and if it can't, it'll split in half, try and get 32. If it can't do that, it'll get 16. And it'll just try and get as many as it can um, before it runs out. So I'm going to leave partial requests to no for now. And if we wait just a moment, we should start getting some hummus soon. The supplier pipe should currently be requesting, and a bunch of dirt and fertilizer should be flowing through my systems. And there is some hummus. Hooray! And oh, look at that. It's sending sand out that pipe. It's sending sand out both sides. That's all right. What's going to happen is this sand won't have a particular place to go, so it's going to fall fill, um, down to my default wrap. So now we've got a good supply of hummus going into the system here. And you can see it doing its best to get everything going, and it's going to repopulate all the saplings for me. Perfect. And if we run back, we can go check our default pipe, which should be down here. Yep, and there comes the sand. That's slowly filtering its way through the logistics system. It's saying, hey, I don't know what to do with this sand. So it's going to go through the default route. And anybody who was really paying attention might realize that this is also a default route at the moment. You can see some sand landing in this bucket, as well as some empty cells. Uh, the reason for this is because I set up a teleport pipe earlier, and the teleport pipe... Um, connected these this piping system with the one in my main room. So there's currently two default routes. I'm going to have to do something about that at some point, maybe soon. But for now, uh, there's two default routes, and it's just confusing the system a little bit. Not a big deal. So let's put the humus in here. And that looks nice. Cool. Don't forget I have a dark matter block in there. I'll do something with that eventually. Now, let's see what else we can do in this episode. Well, I think the first thing I want to do here is correct that default route problem that I mentioned a moment ago. If I open up this guy, I'm going to turn off the default route. That way only Mobius fuel should be landing in this chest. 
Um, anything that, see, hummus landed in there. Shouldn't be doing that. So we can close this wall up. And now we shouldn't be having any more issues with default routes. Um, we should get all our default routing to go right this direction. I'll pull this sand back out and throw it into my sand and dirt chest. Thank you. How are we doing otherwise? Miscellaneous materials? Not bad. Not bad. Supplier system's doing alright. See? Keeping everything I wanted. Thank you very much, guys. Let's go check out our industrial crafter. Uh, let's do equivalent exchange. I did want to upgrade this condenser, didn't I? I think I want to grab... Hmm, what exactly do I want to do in here? Let me think about this for a minute. Alright, I'm producing a significant amount of Mobius fuel here. I'm going to try and even out what I've got. So I'm going to do two more condensers and one more collector. So let's go get ourselves some cobble. I'm going to need a good amount of that. And I should probably need some glowstone. Do I have any of that stuff? No. That's alright, I can get myself some. I don't think I can get glowstone blocks, but why don't I just request... 64 of these guys. And my nice little system over there is going to produce all that for me. And while I'm waiting for all those goodies to come over, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just double check the recipes that I need for this guy. So if I go and look at uh, diamond blocks and what I can use on them, They can be used to make the energy collector, which is going to need some glowstone on the side, some glass in a furnace, and the condenser. So I'm going to need two obsidian. I think I've got some obsidian around here somewhere, don't I? Yeah, I do. I've got plenty. No idea where it's at, but somewhere in there. Probably in my miscellaneous junk pile. So let's get to crafting. Get out my Philosopher's Stone here. And I'm going to need three furnaces. And two of those guys are going to become condensers. So, derp, I need two more obsidian. So let's try that now, shall I? Two obsidian down there, two furnaces, block of diamond or two, and... what I do backwards? Oh, glass on the bottom. Huh. Okay. There we go, energy condensers. And I can take this guy, this guy, and I need some uh, glowstone. I messed it up again. How'd I do that? Glass on top. Why do I forget the glass again? And I'm also going to need a couple supplier pipes. So. Where is my buildcraft chest with my basic pipes? And I'll combine this with this and do that to get... Th no, not crafting. Hey, how'd that happen? That's what I need, lapis. And that'll get me my basic logistics pipe. Now I've got my suppliers like I wanted to, and I'm sure I'll use that crafting guy at some point, so I'll just throw him in there. Alright, so let's get some stuff going, shall we? I'm going to throw down a condenser right there, and I'll throw down a condenser here, why not? And I'll throw this guy like that, and him there. That should be good. 
Now I'm also going to need to do a couple little other things, but I'll sort that out in a moment. For now, I'm going to dig down under my flooring. And right here, I want to place a supplier pipe. And tell him that I always need to have... I think I did 32 Mobius fuel on these guys, right? Yeah, 32 Mobius. Perfect. And there it goes. And I can do the same here. Thirty-two Mobius. And this guy needs the redstone. Of course I don't have any, so let's get some. Put our supplier here. And say... I think I was doing... 64? Okay. Ta-da! A well-supplied system. And my redstone should start sucking into that guy real quick. There he goes. And I want to use Mobius as the target on that guy. And I can place... Let's do just the 16 and 16 of these guys, just like I did here. And I'm doing 16 and 16 of these guys, and they should all get cooked up pretty well. Looking good. Alright, nice system there, and I feel like this is a good wrapping up point for the episode. I'm gonna, real quick off camera, just set up a pump system here to pump out of the uh, collector that I just set up. I'll get myself a little wooden uh, engine pipe and all whatnot. So, this is Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed checking out episode 22 of my Let's Play series. Really excited to get my quantum suit. I'll be using that quite a bit going forward. I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.